Hi and welcome to the tutorial on special map layers. This tutorial is going to be talking about three map layers in particular that I've actually already loaded into my layer manager, but you can add them through add new layer if you like. The maps that we're going to be talking about are the Themis Knight over Day IR, the Tess Hematite map, and the Hend map. So the first one is the Themis Knight over Day IR. This map is beneficial for a few reasons. It helps scientists with geologic mapping. You can see on the screen that there are multiple colors and different colors suggest different things. So we can see dunes and wind streaks, dusty areas and rocky material. Blue areas have a lower thermal inertia, which means that it's a sandy or dusty area. While red areas have a high thermal inertia, which indicates a rocky material. So if you look at some of the craters on the screen, you can see a lot of the craters have a red interior and a blue exterior around the rim. This is most likely from the blast of the impact. So the impact probably hit the material and most of the dusty area settled around it while leaving the rocky material exposed. The next map we're gonna look at is the test hematite data set. So we're gonna turn this one off we're going to zoom out a little bit. TESS stands for Thermal Emission Spectrometer Data, and this data is usually used for mineralogy. You can see on the screen that there's a lot of blue and purple tones. The blue and purple areas are the low concentration of the material. In this case, it's hematite, so there's a lower concentration. While this area with the more colored rainbow spectra indicate that there's a higher concentration. You can get an idea of what the percentage is of hematite in these areas by moving your mouse around. You can see that these values change. Each pixel represents 17 square kilometer blocks. So each block shows an average of the percentage of hematite in that area. We're going to turn this one off now and add the hen data set and zoom out a little. The last map is the HEN dataset, which stands for High Energy Neutron Detector. It shows the reflection of hydrogen neutrons in the area. So this high reflection can either be in different minerals or it can even be in the surface area of about two to three inches below the surface. So we can use it to find potential areas with water in the minerals or the surface. This map is a little different in the sense that the blue and purple areas actually indicate a high hydrogen area, which means it has a high reflectance rate, while the reds actually show a low reflectance rate. You can move your cursor around a little bit on this one too to see different values of reflectance rates. Well, that's it for special maps. Thanks for joining me.